Hey, it's me, Destin. Sorry for the vertical video there. I was recording for the Instagram story. So I caught this bird with my hand, and I got to thinking about it. And it's kind of a shame to have a bird and let it go and not film it in slow motion. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, this is my daughter's butterfly thing. Where are you at, little bird? Hey, calm down, buddy. Calm down, calm down. There you go, calm down. Okay, let's hold you where you don't get hurt. There you go. All right, let's go let you go, what do you think? So I've always been fascinated by birds. Their wings in particular, you see the, the primary feathers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought they had 10 primary feathers, maybe they do, and then these are the secondary feathers. And then the feathers around his eyes. It's really cool, he's scared, so we're gonna try to gonna try to get him out of here real quick he's wanting to fly away I know this isn't like a super in-depth smarter everyday video but this is just a target of opportunity something to learn really quick what I want to know is when he takes off if his tail feathers are correct and immediately or if it has to wait until he's moving in flight before he starts using those we probably won't see that because we literally have one shot to do this but uh, I'm really excited did you see his eyes like the little feathery things around his eyes I've never noticed that Anyway, he's getting tired. We gotta let him go. All right, here we go. Releasing the bird. Three, two, one. That was fast. All right, let's look at it. I mean, we, we probably just got the launch, but I like birds. I set out to make a cute little video of a bird hopping out of my hand, but I actually learned a ton from this footage. Number one, it's clear that the bird hops out of my hand, and I've never thought about that. I'm sure that's just common knowledge to ornithologists, but for some reason, I always thought birds just start flapping to fly, and he's hopping. Why would they not use their legs to get further away from the ground so their wings don't hit the ground or my hand or whatever? That's just cool. I've never thought about that. Number two, I think it's neat that he points his tail towards the ground on that hop, and I've gotta believe he's doing that to reduce the vertical component of drag so that he can hop farther. Another thing that happens is on the downstroke, you can see that his feathers are together, but his feathers delaminate to reduce drag on the backstroke. We've seen that in a Smarter Everyday episode in the past. It's fun to see it again here. Number four, it's cool to see him transition that tail from being pointed down. He raises it, so he's getting ready for horizontal flight. So that transition from vertical flight to horizontal flight, he straightens his tail out to get it in the game. He's getting ready to make corrections in horizontal flight. I think it's really cool to make your own observations because all this probably exists in a scientific paper somewhere but it's fun to actually see it for yourself and try to understand I'm gonna be looking for these things every time I see a bird take off from now on all right that's enough of this bird do you want to see my garden these are my sunflowers I grow them for uh, all the ladies in my life my daughter my mom my wife while we're here do you want to see my cornses my cornses are bad I think I overwatered them these are my cornses these are my cornses and uh, my cantaloupe. I got the cantaloupe. Hold on, right here. Look at this fat boy. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's a good looking melon right there. Anyway, it's a simple video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Bye.